Well, this year, I think in the last years, uh, we had uh, as a classification society very big improvement for all concerned, the, the, some important steps in the rural developments. Certainly, safety, the balance between safety and environment is becoming uh, very much more important than what it was before. Um, we had actually uh, important steps such as the approval of the common structural rules, which were approved by, 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 the, by the IACS uh, last December. We have uh, important works going on in the safety of the container ships and also we have a lot of issues going on uh, in environmental uh, parts with uh, several regulations which were coming up and also a lot of works done by the various class societies um, individually and also IAX uh, for the implementation of this regulation. Um, yes, EcoShip has been uh, a new venture in, in shipbuilding and in, in, order, in, in the order book of new buildings. I think, uh, yes, we, we have seen uh, a lot of uh, new orders coming up, not only in the, in the traditional type of ships such as bulk and tankers, but also in the container rows, etc. So, so surely the market has changed. The market uh, is very different from what it used to be just a few years back. And uh, there are a lot of things that class society are doing in this respect. Honestly, we have always been involved in safety, but recently we have looked at the efficiency of the ships, which are in a much broader way. As Arena, we have established a units, a new units which we name uh, fuel efficiencies, efficiency of ships, and we have done able. We are now able to provide services uh, for the monitoring of energy, energy efficiency, fuel consumption. Uh, and also we have developed uh, some regulation which somehow uh, confirm whether the ship is really eco or is uh, not eco at all. So we have done something which, uh, for which the class society has never been uh, uh, involved with, apart from the traditional uh, classification services and uh, services relevant to the environmentally friendly of the ship, but also fuel efficiency is, is the new frontier. It's a very nice question, which unfortunately I don't have a real answer. Uh, but there are actually several scenarios that may, may, may come up uh, depending on uh, how the regulation will be implemented. Take for example the ICA area. Now, if you see ICA area, the only area where, where uh, now the only European area where ICA is now is in the Baltic. In the Baltic we see that uh, many owners have decided to go for the NGO, marine gas oil. And that's, they will use either marine gas oil or they will use scrubber in the future. Uh, other owners have decided to go with LNG. So LNG is really the type of fuel which may, may make the difference, although there are at least two issues which will affect, will, uh, will affect these developments. First one is uh, the cost of LNG. LNG is cheap in US, it's not cheap in Europe. So that's a matter of fact. So it's not cheap compared to heavy fuel oil. So scrubbing that may be, may be a solution. The second is the development of infrastructure. You see, uh, if you see the Baltic, then the Baltic Sea, there are a lot of uh, LNG uh, term, um, terminals, LNG bunkering stations, which were there for civil reasons, not for ships. In the European, in the Mediterranean, we don't have that. So we need to build the infrastructure. To build the infrastructure is expensive. It takes time. And you don't do it if you don't have a clear indication of having clients, means ships. So LNG is a possibility, surely. It's, it will happen, ultimately. But uh, there are some things which may affect or may delay this development. Uh, yes, it has contributed uh, dramatically in, the, in improvement in the CIFAR. Although, I have to say that the... the the situation is not uneven all over the world. Of course, uh, it has contributed to, to enhance the, the quality of CFR, the, the for the of, of working condition of CFRs, especially in the countries, in the in areas where this was more critical, I would say, did not affect much uh, in the areas where this was already up to, according to IS standards. However, we have done a lot of certification of, uh, of uh, CFRs, of, uh, of um, the companies according to M to MLC convention, and that's I think has been uh, it has been been seen a positive way uh, from from the from the industry. Um, 
Yes, perhaps we need to make a step forward on that. Uh, I have to say that uh, there's always been a little of um, separation between uh, IMO, who, s who set the, the rule ultimately, and the implementation. Sometimes IMO has promoted some rules which were very difficult to be applied. One above all is uh, the Water Balance Convention. I mean, uh, has been. Uh, convention, long-lasting uh, process of, uh, of uh, implementation. So far it's not been uh, you know, applied yet. Uh, but I think uh, the industry may work together in trying to find uh, a way of uh, uh, addressing the implementation. Uh, we are, as AIAX, we have uh, been involved uh, in, the, um, in, a pro, in a joint working group with the industry on the structure um, on the structure assessment of development of regulation now so when you when we develop a regula when IMO develop regulation they should look at some things which should look at the impact on the regulation so as AX we are very much open to you know to be involved in this process of implementation there is still a gap but i think uh, with the work uh, working together IX IMO and various administration and all the class society of course there will be a way, of, and the industry as well, there will be a way of, of improving this one. Um, well, the three accidents that you, that you mentioned are very different. They have a very different background, each of them, I would say. Uh, so it's very difficult to find a link between the three. However, however, I'm sure there are areas in the regulations areas in the implementation of the regulation which may require uh, from our side from everybody's side a better a better understanding and a better attention um, for example if you take the list the last of the accident uh, the one happening in korea of course there it's uh, it's uh, the proper implementation of the local regulation of the domestic regulation which may have failed I, i'm not sure we will wait for the investigation results before saying that but it's a matter of a local uh, regulation which might not be the adequate to the standard different is of course the other the other accidents that happen uh, for the concordia for example where they are probably the, if you want to find a focus is not certainly on the application of the regulation but more perhaps on the on the say on the crews on board i would say so it's it's a very different nature uh, there is the response to, of, uh, of the association of uh, Croatia, of CLIA to the accident of Concordia has been very straightforward. They developed standards which has improved dramatically the, um, let's say, the regulations and the, the standards, the application of the standards. Uh, probably today we need to look at the ferries as a new area, the ferry, especially the one in, in, in domestic trades, as a new area of developments uh, of regulation and standards. Not only for the design of the ship, but also in prop probably even more uh, more um, uh, let's say clearly for the management of the ship itself uh, well the main message is uh, I think the shipping uh, world is uh, changing again but it's changing in a positive way we see a lot of enthusiasm in, uh, in here in Posidonia we've been meeting owners uh, for the last three days who will do for the next two and I think the the message that come up is that uh, the real, uh, there is uh, a, a real belief in the future of the shipping, despite the situation that today is not, you know, that's that's well, that's um, that's clear. I think the Greek ship owners are doing uh, very much to change even the business, uh, attracting uh, um, uh, external investors. It's a different way of being a ship owner, but I think uh, some it's a it's a new way which would. Create, uh, we bring a lot of uh, new money, fresh money inside the uh, inside the the system, and will uh, continue um, cont contribute to the growth of the of the shipping community. As a class, we are happy to work at sites of the industry and support them and try to uh, protect their you know their 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 investments and finding always the new ways of. Uh, uh, giving services which are tailor-made and more uh, more uh, suitable to their needs. That's that's. Uh